Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you've never been here before. A massive warm welcome to you and thank you for stopping by. So today we're going to be doing my project pan update. I'm also going to be showing you what brushes I have been loving using but we're going to do that right at the end. And then in the next video I'm going to be doing a pan that palette update for February as well. Um, right, so let's just get into this as there's quite a few bits and pieces here. So it's all in here. I'm sure I had more things than this yesterday. What I've done basically is yesterday I filmed this video and I had to delete it. I noticed that I had like brown, um, some brow product here and it just I just couldn't look at myself while I was editing it and um, I deleted it which is a shame because I also did another video after that as well um, but yeah we're gonna do these videos again right okay so for primer I've been using this Ole Henriksen one so it's the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Not a fan of it, not for primer anyway. It's got good skincare properties in it. It's got vitamin C in it. Um, it just says vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. So I've been using it for that. It does have a little bit of a glow, but not too much. Um, so I thought, why not? Um, I am about down to here now and it's got some air in it I wouldn't repurchase it I wouldn't recommend that you go out and repurchase it um, I know a lot of people have been sent this on influenced it and if you get sent it then fair enough try it you might actually like it I have spoken to a few people who do actually like it um, but for me it's very overrated um, it's highly expensive as well it's 28 pound and I've got better drugstore primers in my collection better glowy drugstore primers as well right so for foundation now I didn't really intend on having a foundation in you know like as a project pan but this one's nearly done guys so it's the NYX born to glow in the shade light porcelain um, and I didn't originally like it I'm sure if you've watched a lot of my videos and you've seen the foundation Friday I did with it um, you'll know that I didn't like it I will try and add that video somewhere in the card section um, but I'm actually really getting to like it I wouldn't repurchase it though just because of it just because there are so many foundations on the market that give you that glowy look I like the revolution conceal and glow i prefer that one over this right so then we've got the revolution and imagination highlight to the moon palette so this is where i've made the most progress i've been using this for ages now it's well over a year and obviously you can see that i've used those two powders up there that one's nearly done there so that's what i'm working on at the moment it's called Cayute. And then these two powders here, these two bronzers have been used completely and I'm trying to use this with this. So eventually I'm going to run out of Kiyoot so I'm going to have to get a deeper um, setting powder and use it up because I do want to use it up completely and then in 2022 I want to bring it out again and I want to use the highlighters. I'm just a bit fed up of it guys, I want to bring in a different face palette um, to actually pan. I feel like I want to bring in my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, Hollywood Foam Star Bronze and Glow, I think it's called. Um, blushers, so we've got the NARS Orgasm. Not really hit pan or even close to hitting pan on it. It's a 9 gram blusher, guys. It's probably going to take me years, but yeah, we've still got that in. We've got a mini by Too Faced in the shade Love Hangover. I'm doing quite well with it, um, obviously it's a blusher so it's going to take ages to pan um, and yeah I've managed to get most of the symbol off so yeah I am doing quite well and the dome isn't on anymore it's really really flattening, I don't know if you can see that on camera but yeah it's really flattening um, so yeah I'm happy with the progress there as well 
So setting sprays, I was using the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1. I got this as part of a free gift when I got the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette and I've used all that up now. You did, you did only get a short amount of product, um, I can't remember, but you didn't get a lot. Obviously you can see the size of the bottle. And then I got this one, so this one is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow, so I've been using that recently. Um, it's a 24 hour hydration. It's nice, um, but I don't know if I'd repurchase it and I don't know what all the hype is around it if I'm being honest. Um, concealer, I'm only using one at the moment. So this is the PS My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer in Medium Coverage. I wouldn't say it's medium coverage, I'd say it's more um, light coverage. Doesn't feel like we've got a lot of light. So let me open the curtains. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, so we didn't have a lot of light coming through. Hopefully this is better now. Um, so. I've been using the PS My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer Medium Coverage. In my opinion, it's a it's a light coverage. I've completely ruined the casing on this. I thought it was ready for the um, the top to come up, like to come undone, but it's, it wasn't, and then I broke it. So yeah, I'm just trying to use that one up. Mascara is this one. This is the only mascara I'm using in the collection at the moment. I've got two others that I can be using as well, so I don't have to rush out and buy any. But this one is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And by now, if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll know my thoughts on it. I absolutely adore it, guys. I adore everything about it. I adore the brush. It's got those, like, little spikes on it. Um, and it's just, it's just a really really good mascara from the drugstore I do tend to like a lot of Essence mascaras I've not tried them all obviously um, it's mainly Lash Princess I've tried and then obviously this one um, there is a few others that I do want to try as well so yeah I'm going to be on a bit of a hunt to try a few different Essence mascaras if you've got a favourite Essence mascara leave it down in the comments and I'll probably pick it up next time I'm in town um, so yeah this one really really like it I like it because it gives you that effect of false eyelashes um, it luminises and also gives you length um, and yeah I just really like it for that this concealer can go in empties now I was using that before I went on to the Primark one it took me ages to get through it it's the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer I took the stopper out and everything the stopper was fine on this one but on the Primark one because the packaging is made cheaply it just broke on me um, so that one can go in empties I'm also using this Technique lip oil I'm doing really really well with it I use it most days it's down to here there is a little bit there as well I will take the stopper out when I can't get any more out I have got another one that I got for my birthday so I got the Barry M Coco Loco in a set with this Barry M Apple lip scrub this is the only lip scrub in the collection so it is part of Project Pan I absolutely love it guys um, oh, I've got scent, the scent of apple came through um, and it's just a really really nice lip scrub I mean what can you say about a lip scrub it is what it is um, once I've finished this I think I'll go to Lush when it reopens and get a couple lip scrubs from them um, right so we've got a brightener here by Benefit now last year or was it the year before I was using it constantly um, but I didn't make a dent on it and I'm trying to just use this side of it up this side is far too dark I mean that concealer is only supposed to be um, in, in the shade Boing 02 if that's zero two, zero one would be even too dark for me. Um, but the brightener is really, really nice. I don't think I'd get it again. I think I'd, 
I'd want to get the Becca one um, but I've heard that Becca are not going to be trading for much longer so I might try and get it in the sale if they bring it out on the sale right the next thing up is Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder done up really well with this as well considering I only brought it into the project pan just because the packaging was a hot mess what is it with Essence packaging how it's flimsy the products are really really inexpensive aren't they but the packaging is flimsy I would rather that they spend a little bit more on packaging than and give us a great product as well and then give us flimsy packaging I would rather pay it a little bit more but yeah we're doing really really well with this I'll be glad when it's out of the collection and I can throw this hot mess of a packaging out I've got a blusher by them as well I think it's bearing me up and um, that one's done the same and I've barely used any of that blush so I'm not happy with that but right, let's talk about lipsticks so I've got five in here but one's being decluttered into the bin um, let's talk about gloss so this is the Deck of Scarlet and Kim Tai collaboration it's in the shade Love Spell, absolutely love it, it smells like vanilla cupcakes I've not used it though in a very long time Oh, it smells so good um, I need to make more of an effort to use these then we've got the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Lo then we've got the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Longwear Lipstick which just looks like that then I've got this Dior in the shade Underground this one is really really pretty it's like um, a lipstick but also a lip balm so yeah that's nice then I've got this other Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Fig. It's really nice, it's like a mauve toned pink. Um, this one, again, is really, really nice. It's my favourite lipstick in my collection, but it is getting on the older side, so it does need to get used or get decluttered one of the other. Um, I mean, it's not gone bad. No, it's not gone bad, um, so I can keep it while it's still okay for me to use but I have had it a while so this one is the kiss proof liquid matte lipstick in 02 pink in excess I'm really sad that Primark don't do this anymore so the only like eyeshadow primer I've been using and it's not really an eyeshadow primer it's an eyeshadow base is by NYX and it's the white one and I'm really getting down to where there's less than half in there now so I've got that to use and then I've got a W7 one to use which is the same thing, it's a white base and then I can go out and get an eyeshadow primer. I could get one anyway but I don't want to do that until I've used them up. Um, brow products, we've got this brow pencil from Primark which we're nearly done with. It's in the shade dark brown, really just want to get it out of the collection. Then I've got a couple of brow gels, so we've got this Model Co More Brows one that came in a birch box, I mean seriously look at, look at the size of that, it's 2 mils. And then we've got this Natural Collections Tinted Brow Gel which is 3.2 mils, um, I haven't been using that that much because I've been using this constantly, you can tell I absolutely love it, all the writings come off it, it's a Makeup Obsession Fluffy Brow Gel and it's just got fibres on it just like the MCO one does really really like that I don't think I would get anything like that again because they don't have fibres and then this brush just look how thick that is in comparison and then the last lipstick the one that I'm going to be decluttering is this one so this is the Sephora number 66 it's getting bad guys um, so I just need to take it out of my collection it's sad because I got this when I was on holiday with my mum it must be at least four years ago I can't keep it in the collection I don't really wear it a lot anyway and it is getting bad um, and I didn't enjoy it the one time I did wear it recently so yeah that's coming out of the collection just gonna pop all this in here and then we can talk about brushes Okay. 
let's talk about face brushes first and then we'll go on to eye brushes so favorite face brushes without a shadow of a doubt i've got we'll talk about foundation so that's my favorite face brush for foundation so it's the real techniques 301 um because it's synthetic sometimes it will leave like little marks but then i'll go in with my beauty blender and just kind of buff them out um and it just looks like a really nice natural finish um but yeah i absolutely love it i need to wash it um and then for bronzer i'm using two different ones so I was using this one, this Real Techniques 302. I absolutely adore this collection. It's so pretty. I've got a few brushes like this. I was using that first and then I found this in the bathroom, gave it a wash. Um, this one came from Wilco. It's nothing special. I think it was three or four pound. And I like this one because it's more angled and more precise. So I've been using that a lot more than this one. Um, for setting powder, I've been using this one. So that just looks like that. It's actually a highlighter brush. It's by the sister company of Sigma, um, which I didn't know until I actually read the packaging when I got it for Christmas last year. Um, and it's, it's by, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. That's the name of the company. It's P-R-A-C-T-K Pratt. Um, not too sure but the sister company or i would say this is the sister company from sigma so yeah i really really like that and it's nice to have it um then for powder i use this joe and joe brush really really like it and i also use it if i've gone into ham with my blush um i'll just blend it out with that as well also another one this is really old at this point so this is the real techniques powder brush i don't use it for powder but if i've gone in a little bit too much then i'll just blend 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 um but yeah that's that for blusher i have been using this one there's been a few brushes that i've been using for blusher but more recently i've been using the revlon blush brush that they've been very imaginative when they thought about what they're going to call this brush they brought a whole range out and they don't sell them anymore which is a shame and then for highlighter i've been using this bh cosmetics fluffy brush i don't know what number it is because it's it's come off i did used to use this for eyeshadow um, but now i just use it to place my highlighter on and then I use this as well this one just to comb out the brows once I've got product in it and this one is just the technique brow brush um, so that is all the face brushes so let's talk about what brushes I like to use I'm just gonna put the ones that are actually in front of me and talk to you about them because obviously they're my favorites I'm just seeing if there's any in this cup that I like to use I'm only going to talk to you about ones that I've been really loving using these past couple of months that I, that I go to use continuously. So they're all in here. So I've got this Cargo Magic Eyeshadow Brush. I got this as part of a set. This came in it and also a powder brush by my friend in Australia. So I don't know where she got it from but I've never seen it in the UK before and it's really really good just to place eyeshadow in the outer V so that's that then I've got this Primark one these are a pound guys I mean if you live near a Primark I would say invest 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 if you need brushes um, this one is great for kind of um, blending out your eyeshadow that's all I do with these kind of eyeshadow brushes um, but yeah really really like that um the spectrum co6 brush is really great for packing on color i've used that today this is profusion one is like the primark one so i kind of go in between which one um i use to blend out the primark one is quite heavier um and the profusion one is a little bit kind of cheaper made i would say um so that's that one then I'll use this from time to time as well. So we've got the Urban Decay Naked Honey Brush. 
Love this for packing on colour and then that side for blending out. It's nice to have a duo eyeshadow brushes in it. Um, so yeah, that's that. I have got a few of these in the collection as well. So it's the Real Techniques 305. What can I say? I love this design as, as you know. Um, we've also got this Real Techniques 200 brush. Absolutely adore that for putting white eyeshadow all over the um lid basically to set my base i've also got this urban decay um brush that came with one of the palettes so yeah i use that again it's another duo brush that's what i love about urban decay palettes they give you that duo brush and they're not cheaply made at all um so yeah really really like that i've got this brush as well um that i've been using recently really enjoy using it um, mainly for the crease um, so yeah that's that this one I really like again for putting like that cream ivory white chocolate shade down all over the lid to, into the brow bone it's from Real Techniques it's a deluxe crease brush then I've got this um, smoky eyeshadow brush it's very very inexpensive I got this when I lived in Manchester from the market there and I don't believe you can buy them anymore which is a shame it was like $1.99 guys it's probably my cheapest ever makeup brush then I've got this Real Techniques accent brush which if you watch any of my makeup videos then you'll see me using this all the time I um, absolutely adore it and if TK Maxx ever did these individually I would probably grab five or ten of them I like them that much then the last brush here is the new look we've got a blending brush on one side and then this is great for the lash line again I've used that today most of these brushes that I'm talking to you about I've used today so they're my kind of favourite brushes that I've been using the last couple of months. There's a couple missing from the Real Techniques Berlin collection. Not too sure what I've done with them but hey ho, that's the story of my life. So this concludes the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. Please like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.